So I'm up here on Monarch Mountain. We're on our way to uh, Gunnison. We're doing the Gunnison Loop, we're calling it. Um, I'm going to put a map on here. I'm going to try to put a map on here and um, show you the loop we're taking. We're going to do some geocaching to try to get some uh, counties. I think on this trip, if we get everything we want, it'll be six counties. But it's also a sightseeing trip, so I'll take some, <laughs> take some video along the way. I'm oh, sorry about the traffic noise. Hopefully these wind protectors are working. Because oh. it is a little windy. We stopped here last year and we're noticing now that it's like they've, they've done a lot of work to this area. Um, a lot of destruction of the mountain, however you want to look at it. I'm going to flip this around here and show you. We saw this place yet last year. But all this stuff down here was not like that last year, I don't think. They've done all this work. I don't know. So I guess they're doing some kind of mining. But I don't know what they're mining for. So anyway, uh, first geocache is like five miles from here at the top of the mountain, the pass. I think it's where the Continental Divide is because of the name of it's called Parting of the Rivers or Parting of the Waters or something like that. So we're gonna head up there and we'll see. So get back. So we're almost to the top of the mountain, and I wanted to show this because uh, went up here last year. Uh, when Shelby and Destiny were out. We we came up here to Monarch Mountain, and we went up this. Which is the gondola ride. You start off down over here. Um, well. And you go up there, you get all the way to the top of the mountain there, and there's that neat little building. You ride the gondola up to that building, and it's got a deck, and you got 360 degree views. It's pretty cool. Um, so if you come up this way, towards Monarch Mountain, um, let me zoom out. Ah! Uh, it's worth riding up there. I think it's 10 bucks a person, so it's not ridiculous. Look at this guy. Um, woo! So it's not ridiculous, but it's it's worth the ride up there. So um, got traffic coming, so it's gonna take me a second to get in the car, but alright, next stop is at the geocache. See ya. Okay, we found the first one. Um, and I'll give you another angle because it's actually at the base of the mountain where you can ride up. And it is right here at the. Uh, let me go to the other side of the sign. Monarch Pass, Continental Divide. But this is the location. Sorry, people. It's got a gift shop and store and all that and then you ride the it says scenic ride no place in America has the view well no duh but anyway and then you ride the gondolas up the mountain and that building is up there um, that I showed from before it's all the way up at the top and you get a view of all these mountains. So, all right, we're back on the road. So, see you in a minute. Peace. Okay, this is just a quick update um, because of two things. One, we came down off the pass, which is behind me now. You know, we were way up there, and now we're down here. Um, I'm at the Tamichi Creek Trading Post and RV Park. Um, but I just stopped off here because. We lost, we're at 8,500 feet, about, in elevation right now. Up at the mountain, I realized I'm wearing the shirt from up there. Um, it's at about 11,000 feet, 11,3 I think. So we dropped about 3,000 feet of elevation. And I just checked in the car um, as I was pulling in, what made me decide to stop and do this. It's 75 degrees here and when we stopped for the geocache, it was 63 degrees. So we picked up 12 degrees 
in 3,000 feet of elevation. So, and I also stopped up the road because there were some pieces of railroad tie right in the middle of the road on the passing lane for people going up, going around a curve. So I stopped and got those out of the road. Um, that could have been bad for someone. But anyway, we're gonna head on. Here comes a big truck, so it's gonna get noisy. So I'm leaving now. See ya! Okay, we just turned on Highway 149 South. Um, we're headed towards, where are we headed towards? Lake City. Um, there's a lake over here. And we're noticing how low it seems. Good test for the wind blockers. We're noticing how low this lake seems. And worse than that, it's not like it's just low because of all this. If you look over here, there's driftwood and stuff all along in these rocks and all along right up there by the edge of the highway there is driftwood up in there like this is normally completely full of water so I, I don't know what's going on here um, as far as why this thing is this low if that's normal I don't know but um, yeah it's kind of crazy so but uh, yeah, we're gonna head south. Oh, someone's dog is down there. Um, we're gonna head south, and we got one geocache on the way on this road, and then there's a couple down further. So we'll be back at you later. I just wanted to show you this really low lake. So, peace. Okay, so we stopped at this historic landmark thing. I had no idea. We thought there was a geocache here, but it's back that way. About half a mile, so we're not going to go back for it. So we actually passed it and came back. Um, saw the historic markers in this little valley down here. And um, it's kind of famous, so I'm going to walk over there and videotape the, uh, the little sign and show you what, what this valley is all about. So hang on just a second. We got this sign here, People of the Shining Mountains, talking about it being the land of the Ute. The Utes called themselves that, apparently. And this is where we're at. Very pretty. And uh, we're going to go down this little road here. And I'll show you what's down there. It looks pretty cool. The Gate Campground, this is called. $5 per, per night, per site, I guess. There's the basic rules. This is just a pay honor system. Uh, we're not staying the night. We're just taking some pictures real quick, and then we're taking off. Apparently they don't want you messing with the fish too bad. But yeah, look at the creek here, the river. This is really beautiful. Nice little camp now. 14 day maximum, as it saw. Huh. Really neat. Okay, so yeah, we just were driving by and happened to see this, mainly because of that, um, and decided, hey, let's check this out. Yeah, looks like they got 
you know, picnic tables. Those people down there got their camper going on, solar panels, little pit toilet area. Um, not bad, not bad at all. But we're gonna head down the road towards Lake City. All right, just stopped on the side of the road here. It's called, this geocache was called Rest, Rest for the Wicked. Cause it's just a little pull off where you can park. And uh, the cache was kind of easy to find. But I figured I'd just go ahead and turn around and show you what it is, where we're at. This is kind of neat. I can't see the water. Maybe I can from over here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, there goes a little bunny. Sorry, little bunny. See the water down there. This water is crystal clear up here. Uh, unlike the Arkansas River, which still has not recovered from that flooding from my last video. Looks like there's a house over here. See it there in the trees. Yeah, this is really neat. Cool little area, but anyway, so we're on the way down towards Lake City at this point, so see you in a bit. Woo! Okay, so we're up here on the mountain. Uh, Lake City said it was at about 8,000 feet. I don't remember the actual number. Just check the GPS. It says we're at 9,900 feet, and we are at this Lake San Cristobal scenic overlook a little trail here so yeah so we went up almost 2,000 feet on this road there's the trailhead and let's walk up here and see what this scenic overlook looks like Yeah. Is it worn out pretty bad? <laughs> um, Lake San Cristobal was formed about 850 years ago when a massive landslide blocked the Lake Fork of the river. So I'm guessing this is about the elevation that the town was in, which, like I said, it was around 8,000 feet, I don't remember. And we're at 9,900, so almost 10,000 feet. But, kind of right, impressive. We're on our way down towards Creed, and then uh, South Fork, I think is what it was called. So. As long as I don't fall down this little hill, we're continuing up the road, so. Alright, well, we'll catch you at the next spot. Later! So this little point of interest is all about moose. I guess here's the... Sorry about the shadow. The sun's behind me. Here's the axle size of a track. I guess uh, moose versus elk I don't know I guess they moved a bunch of moose here by a helicopter and dumped them off out here somewhere um, I don't see any moose to me this looks like a moose free zone I don't know they could be anywhere down there they say they like to hang out in the willows by the creek there is a creek down there so, there's a black dot down there, but I think it's a truck. I see no moose. This portion of the video will be completely mooseless. Thank you for viewing. On our way. Angered these guys. Look at that guy. He wants to eat the other one. This dude, he's, he's toughing it out. He's not scared. Hopefully I, my video doesn't get flagged for this song, but he's a big bird. These guys are over there. 
Pretty cool. It looks like over here there's another little fall. Another little fall. It's really cool. Huh. Any of you people, hang on. No one wants to see me that close. For any of you people out there that wonder why it is that we do geocaching, yeah, if we didn't do geocaching, for one, we may never even came down this road, and we certainly wouldn't have found this. Um, so I need to thank, uh, should have checked before, the cache owner for placing this geocache here, which is over there. Um, for bringing us here and yeah anyone who thinks that geocaching is just a waste of time yeah you don't know but anyway so kudos um, to the person who put this here and anyone else that's lucky enough to find it because of this geocache so we're going to continue on the way we haven't even got to Creed yet. We still got to go there and then South Fork. So it's getting close to five o'clock at night. Um, have to get at least two more geocaches after this to finish our county goal that we had today. So we're on the road. All right, so we're gonna go through downtown Creed. This lady's got her little house going on. Hello, lady with the house. Maybe that's her house. It's kind of cute. The whole little road over there is tiny little houses. Um, got true value hardware over here. A little theater. People looking at me driving slow. Videoing. Guy up on his balcony. Rambo house. I don't know what that means. Car door for a sign. Must be some sort of restaurant here. Pizzeria. Gallery. Some dude. Creed Trading Company. Oh, I got to turn here. I'm sorry. Sorry, people. Uh, Geocache is saying it's 300 feet this way. Cool little town. It's kind of nestled in. Um, between everything so I'm gonna park here and look for this geocache before I get in a wreck it should be somewhere around here because I'm showing 20 feet so we'll be back okay so uh, I'm back at the cabin as you can see uh, it's obviously it's a different day got a different shirt on and um, yeah so we're back here now when we left Creed we went on down to South Fork and then over to Del Norte, I think it was called, up to through Sawatch, back through Salida in here like it showed on the map. But uh, it was getting really late. By the time we got to South Fork, it was already after 7. Um, we did, uh, we went to a barbecue joint, but they were closed for an event of some sort. So we went across the street to this place, Firehouse, the old Firehouse. Um, pretty neat little place. Um, good food. I recommend it if you're in South Fork, Colorado, and you're hungry. Um, but yeah, we ate there, and then we headed on. We didn't get any more geocaches for the rest of the evening because it was just dark, and it was late. Um, we didn't get home until after 10.30, so we were just trying to get home at that point. We did accomplish our goal, although earlier in the video I said that we were going to get six counties. Uh, it turns out it was only four counties on this trip. But... Um, a lot of beautiful scenery down, especially down that uh, Highway 149 between Gunnison and South Fork. 
Uh, that's when we went through Lake City and Creed and all that. Uh, just be prepared, at least if you're on Verizon, because you leave Gunnison, you lose your signal, you don't get it again until you're down in South Fork. I think you could get roaming in Creed, but my phone wasn't, didn't seem to like it. I don't know. But um, anyway, so it was a good time, but um, not quite as many counties, but we got all the counties we could. So um, I'm going to end the video here. So thanks for watching, both of you that watched this long into it. This is going to be over 20 minutes. Um, I, I had to cut some stuff out. Don't like doing that, but yeah, I'm already at 20 minutes. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, I guess I'm going to keep doing these geocaching videos, travel videos, until people tell me to stop. But, um, yeah, so keep watching. Uh, next trip, I'm not sure where. I think it might be fair play, though. Um, so tune in next time. See ya.